Morning, T Speak at 222 with Swing Traders Anonymous. It's 10 54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And today, like I always do, I go over the total crypto market cap, the Bitcoin Pro shares, the Bitcoin dominance chart, which is the market cap, um, Bitcoin dominance market cap, and then uh. I do Tether, like I said, I do BITO, and then we cover the Bitcoin chart. Today, we're going to talk about a swing trade, which brings a pretty interesting scenario. We've got the uh, snapshot tomorrow for XRP. I'll pull just some breaking news. If you go check out my Future Millionaire page, they added themselves to the snapshot. So I expect XRP to pump after it. Like, here's the deal. Everybody thinks it's going to pump leading into the air shot. I think we're going to have a dump here initially, maybe down to the 30-minute time frame. Could come down farther. But I think we're going to have a dump first. And then we're going to have a pump, which we've already had leading up to this airdrop. But I think we're going to have a dump to get some cheaper prices so people can buy. And you have to be a part of it at 8 p.m. UTC time. So my thing is, is we're not necessarily saying to buy this for the swing for the long we're saying to watch this for an extremely rare short opportunity tomorrow starting at 8.01 p.m. UTC time, which is 3.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So watch XRP for a much aligned swing trade. And I think it's got something that has some significant, significant opportunity of happening. So if you're in a short, if you like the short, that would be a tremendous opportunity you're going to have tomorrow that doesn't come around very often. And it'll be snapshot dominated, oriented, and it's going to be tremendous. So, I'm not a fan of shorting. I'm not, it's not part of my uh, thing that I do. But if you are somebody who shorts, that's definitely a good swing trade. And I haven't done one in a while. So, we needed to get our feet wet for our swing trades. So, it's going to be swing trade number... Let's see, where were we at? Swing trade number, we're going to call it swing trade number 51, XRP short. Starting at 8.01 UTC, or 8.01 p.m. UTC time, which is 3.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a uh, crash watch for XRP tomorrow after the snapshot. So pay attention to that. That's just some breaking news. Uphold is accepting it. So just own XRP in your Uphold account at that time and you get it automatically and sometime in the January and February nothing else you have to do a couple other places have it as well so with total crypto market cap we're getting rejected right now at 2.395 trillion that's our overhead uh, resistance we've got support at 2309 and the 30 minute time frame however I think if we were to come down we come down to about 2.27 trillion so that's what I'm looking at so if we can break 2.39 5 trillion we'll go to 2.5 trillion so that's just what we're looking at with total crypto market cap bitcoin dominance chart we've been struggling but we are creating some kind of bottom here so i would expect us we have 40.35 percent of support we got 40.67 percent which tightened up now and it's 40.53 percent that's how tight this zone is so we've been watching it tighten up but underneath we have 39.96 percent if we break through this, just a targeted move down, if it were to break down without falling out, that could have been a wick down or whatever. And then overhead resistance, we have 41.13%. I expect this to hold on to this area and probably go back up. I think that we're about passing our limit and we're about to have a dump in the crypto markets. And I think that the altcoins will dump faster than Bitcoin. And we'll probably see it play out in the short term. Tether, I mean, uh, BITO. The ETF, that was my call, and what'd we do? We've come right up here, so now we could be creating a head and shoulders. I mean, we've been nailing this so perfectly, it's sickening. And if you would have bought it at, because we said we'd probably bounce off of here, because we came down so much. This was a 13% pump, so if you bought that, that's what you're looking at with BITO. I'd expect it to probably start trading back down. We are hitting this 32, seven, or 92 resistance area. Got underneath support at $30.39. Tether. We're at the 30-day minute time frame in the 200-day. We're hitting this resistance head on. So I would say if you're not in a position, I'd wait for it to get top side of this. Or you're going to get a better buying opportunity because it'll probably just come right back down to $33.67. Doesn't seem like a lot. 
but when there's buy-in fees and all that crap that's almost a half a percent so let's just watch i would definitely think that this is getting ready to pump this looks like a bottom that formed again so just be cautious of that with tether and then with bitcoin close over 50,000 but it looks like a traditional head and shoulders here i think that this still needs to come up to 51,964 in my opinion we'll see if it can get up there it didn't come all this way not to complete that upper cup and handle in my opinion if you look at this in the short time frame yeah a cup and handles traditionally takes years but you're gonna have this and then the handle is where you're gonna start to see what's gonna actually happen so that's what i'm seeing that's what i'm feeling you got underneath support at 49,993 Actually, you have underneath support at 50,675 and overhead resistance at 51,368. Hit that like button, turn that bell notification on, pay attention to what we were saying in today's episode because it really is vital, very vital.